Hi everyone, I'm coming to you today to share with you my Goodwill book haul. Um, I bought a few items for my students. Here is a book, Dear God, Exactly Who Is My Neighbor. Very cute little board book. I thought my five-year-old would enjoy listening to this story. And um, this looks very interesting. A cat named fish and a fish named cat. Um, apparently it's a story about how the catfish got its name. So I thought that would be interesting to read. Uh, whales, dolphins, and sharks. We are going to start um, the Apologia Swimming Creatures study. So I thought this would be great for them to have an extra book on um, dolphins and whales and such. Uh, let's see. Can it rain? Cats and dogs. Questions and answers about weather. How cool is this? I love this. I love informational books. And um, here's a book, a coloring book about maps. And um, it has a, a map of each state and some other information. Basically, I can just make copies for them and allow them to color it in. In the middle of the book, it has a colorful states map. So I thought this was great. On the back, it has the the list of all the states with the U.S. capitals. So I could make copies of this to put in their notebooks and um, lots of things to do with this book. Here's a book about planet Earth, re reproducible pages plus teacher's guide. So basically this is for uh, grades 4, 5, and 6. And I thought this would be great for when we began to study um, planet Earth. Here is a book that I thought was fun, Big Top Circus. And I got a few books for my uh, fifth grade readers. Shiloh. Um, this is a classic story about a boy and his dog. And this uh, book has won the Newbery Award, Newbery Medal Award. So I love um, the Caldecott books and the Newbery books. Um, the Red Badge of Courage. Awesome. This is a great find. Um, Our Only May Amelia. This is also a Newbery book. Um, it sounds like a very interesting story about a little girl who lived in uh, during the 1899, during 1899 and um, found it difficult to be a little girl because she was the only girl in her entire town, her small town, who... Um, was made up of mainly boys, so I thought that would be interesting to read. This is a book about um, Egypt, another Newbery um, Award book. The Egypt Game, about a group of kids who were so into learning about Egypt that they created a club, and um, they do different things like dressing up and um, learning about the different artifacts found in Egypt. So I thought that that would be... Um, fun to read. Here is a great find, um, Bible fun stuff, and it has all different kinds of questions that I can, you know, use during our Bible trivia times. Where should a lamp be put so those who come in can see the light? Awesome. They also has, um, I also, I also saw a few questions. Um, let's see. We just finished studying Moses and the Ten Commandments, and I did, as I was flipping through it in the store, I saw a lot of questions about um, the Ten Commandments and Moses, so I thought this would be fun, um, and also a great help for me. I don't have to come up with the questions anymore. <laughs> I can use that book. Amazing Math Puzzles. My son is very much into different types of math tricks and, you know, math puzzles, so I thought this would be great to have. Here's a book by Ronald um, Dahl. The Giraffe and the Pelly and Me. Okay, he's a very famous author. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Classic. Love the classics. Um, I also have a few books that would go great with this um, that are written just for children. This is The Borrowers Aloft. This is also a very popular story. The Swiss Family Robinson, very, very popular series. This book was $1.99. It was a um, dollar off. Um, this is from the Abeka. So if you can see that, this is from the Abeka curriculum. So I thought that was a great find. 
and um, Henry Winkler's Hank Zipper. Zipser is his name. Um, I've seen his books in the um, the bookstore. And um, I saw him, hmm, what show was he on? He was on a, a one of those talk shows and talking about his series of books, basically about a little boy who has dyslexia or some other learning disability and find who finds it hard to read. So his books are about his adventures, um, the little that particular little boy's adventures, Henry, you know, which is him, Hank, rather. Um, here is a book that I found about chess, an introduction to chess moves and tactics simply explained. My son is very, very much into chess, and I thought this would be useful. Because of when Dixie, I have one of these already and thought, wow, great, we can have, um, we'll have two for a little uh, book club. Kate DiCamillo is the author of this book, Quacking Up, Sitting Ducks. Um... This is a joke book. My son loves joke books, so I thought that'd be great. Um, Who Was Albert Einstein? What a wonderful book. It's um, basically all about Albert Einstein, his life, and it's um, basically an easy read. As you can see, probably second, third grade level book. Sophie's Secret. I thought uh, my fifth grader would enjoy reading something like this. And I bought a few things for myself as well. I'll get to those in a minute. But I thought this was a great find. Swan Lake. It's a picture book, a story book about Swan Lake, the ballet. And it's um, in story form so that the kids will be able to understand the, the story. And how perfect. I, I hope to see this sometime in our town. We have the Sanger Theater. We also have Playhouse in the Park. And so hopefully sometime soon they'll do Swan Lake and I'll be able to read the story to them and they'll understand exactly what the story is all about, the ballet, uh, Swan Lake. Here's another great find. I found four books of The Big Wave by Pearl S. Buck. Um, she is a very famous author. She wrote um, also, what was that book? Um, I forget the name of it, but I read it in high school. Let me see if they have it here. Yes, The Good Earth. On the back, it says that she uh, wrote The Good Earth as well. So that's the book that I read in high school. I thought that was really great, and I thought this would be something I'd be able to use with, with all of them. So I bought four copies. They were a dollar a piece, so they came out to, um, to be about 50 cents a piece uh, because everything was 50% off. So um, I also found this book, The Down to Earth Guide to Global Warming. I thought this would be interesting to learn about. For the kids, I think this was $2. No, 59 cents. Look at that. 59 cents with 50% off. Ah, go figure. And here are some goodies for me. Uh, the Purpose Driven Life. I think I had a copy of this a long time ago. And um, I don't know what happened to it. So I was happy to find this. Was on the shelf for two for a dollar. It was on the two for a dollar shelf, and I received another book. Where was the other book that I bought for two for a dollar? Which one? Um, I think it was this one. Yeah, Sophie's Secret was also on the two for a dollar shelf, so I got both of these for um, a buck, fifty cents each. Here is another goodie for myself: The Power of Being Positive by Joyce Meyer. So I can't wait to dig into this. I read this book back in high school. James Baldwin, one of my favorite authors. The Evidence of Things Not Seen. Um, I, I can't wait to, to read this again. I really can't. And um, I also used to do a lot of uh, reading. Um, I used to read a lot of John Saul's book books back in um, college as well. And this one is House of Reckoning. And so I can't wait to dig into this book. I have not read one of his books in a very long time. So I'm excited to uh, to get started with this. And then I found um, this. We're, we're going to start studying sea creatures under the sea. One second, sweetie. And um, so I bought this. I think it was $2.24. Tablecloth. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But I thought, wow, it's going to go with our theme. Even if I just lay it all out on the floor. And... Um, 
put some activities on it for the kids or maybe dress up the table or I don't know. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with it just yet. So, um, but that's it. That's my book haul from uh, my Goodwill book haul. I spent $26.32 for all these books. And tomorrow everything is 50 no I think everything is two four dollars she said all books are two four dollars tomorrow so um, that'd be great to go back after church <laughs> and see whatever is left over all right thank you bye bye